Right then guys, how's it going and welcome to the return of Toon Tuesdays, your weekly roundup of Newcastle United news. This is something I've done over the last few summers, it's basically when the Premier League ends. Uh, I will be doing this every Tuesday, updates on transfers, potential new owners, all the way through up to the start of the next Premier League season and that's exactly what everyone's been talking about right now the new potential owner uh, like you guys I'm sure you're struggling to keep up as much as I am because the news keeps on coming day after day and it's something different every day so about a week ago I did actually start preparing a video specifically about the potential takeover but I didn't quite get around to uploading it and I'm not gonna lie a week a week and a half later it's not any clearer. Uh, the updates keep on coming. One person says this, one person says that. And we are pretty much still in the dark. Um, so hopefully things are gonna unravel very soon. And again, I'm sure all you guys are trying to keep up to date as much as possible, just as I am. But the interested party is Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahin. And uh, he is part of the Bin Zayed group. Now the offer supposedly is looking to be 350 million uh, and he is um, a billionaire sheikh from the United Arab Emirates. So obviously a lot of Newcastle fans, including myself, were getting very excited when this all got released. It was originally released by The Sun um, and obviously everyone wasn't really sure what to make of it and then a day later uh, Sky Sports, BT Sport, BBC Sport, everyone got involved and it's pretty much on a constant reel of what is the update and what everyone is trying to find out more about but Newcastle are keeping quiet, the Premier League are keeping quiet and most of the positivity has been coming out of um, the United Arab Emirates on their side pretty much almost saying it's, it's a done deal and then over on our side uh, all of our news outlets are trying to find out what truth there is exactly in it and where things actually are because I don't doubt that this seems pretty legit but until we get some official confirmation and I mean you can't see now they're going to have to say something soon it can't be quiet for this long um, but then maybe that's a positive because in the past uh, it seems like it's been shouted from the rooftops and nothing's ever happened but this time maybe it's maybe no news is good news in that way the most recent thing I have read today is that although the um, Bin Zayed group seems to be the front runner in what is potentially a takeover apparently it isn't the only interested party and other parties are also potentially in there looking to take over the club so with that in mind it blows it up even further you know it, it's really t and I'm, I mean I'm trying to do a video here talking about it and I'm struggling to <laughs> know what to say because it's it's all over the place when the new story first blew up it was fantastic because everyone was getting very excited including myself and I'm not gonna lie the idea of a billionaire shake buying Newcastle United is pretty exciting especially when we've had to deal with Mike Ashley for so long I think pretty much all Newcastle fans are happy to take Joe blogs from down the street to buy the club because we're just looking to try and move forward and take a step forward rather than just sitting where we are right now and then to hear that a billionaire is looking at the club um another thing i've heard today is that basically nothing is going to be released with regards to this from newcastle or whatever until an official buy is done you know we haven't received the money they haven't paid us for the club yet and up until that point in theory it is all speculative you know if I go and buy a chocolate bar, I'm bought it until I give the, the guy a quid. You know what I mean? It, if I, it, that's basically. So in that respect, we are just waiting. Um, and there was loads of stuff going around about fourth favourite to buy Mbappe or something. And there was news out that apparently we're on, going to be signing Ramos and all this. No, that was, it was pretty fun. Um, but now I do think everyone's kind of settling down to earth a little bit and just, 
waiting. Moving away from the takeover stuff, but still kind of related. Obviously, we'll have to talk about Rafa Benitez. His contract officially ends on the 30th of June um, and is still yet to sign a new contract. Again, is Rafa holding off because he wants... To, well, no doubt he wants to take over to go through and ideally for them to offer him a contract. But then there's also been rumours brought out that... Um, if they did take over, they would like to have Rafa. There's then also been news to say that they're more interested in looking at someone like Jose Mourinho has been linked, potentially. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, as much as Jose is certainly a step up from a lot of managers we've had in recent times, and don't get me wrong, Mourinho is a fantastic manager, after what Benitez has done for the last three years, he's definitely the man I want to keep on, especially if we were to get a new owner. You know, if you look at what he's been able to do with the club in the last three years and the players he's brought in, it reduced fees. I know we bought um, Almir on at a higher fee. But players like Shaw, you know, we cost barely nothing in Premier League standard and he's he's been fantastic. So and, and bringing Shaw and Longstaff through to play the way he did, you know, that's, that is Benitez right there. Um, and to follow that route with a bit of backing would be spot on, and especially when he you knows he's done the dirty work. He's taken us down. He's he's taken us out of the championship, and to get his reward of a new owner and some money to spend would be spot on. But Benitez isn't gonna, isn't going to want to sign something until he knows what's happening, or unless Ashley promises him the money. But Ashley isn't going to do that until because he actually wants to sell. Let me know what you think down below because it's... Yeah, I think a mess is probably the best word for it. But to sum up, because I know I've been talking in riddles, um, to have a takeover happen before the 30th of June and to have Rafa sign down on a new contract before the 30th of June, I think is what everyone wants. And I'm hoping it's going to happen, but... Yeah, I'm hoping it's going to happen. Obviously, that's been the main news... Um, over the summer so far, no surprise why, but there has also been a few other bits and pieces like transfer rumours that have, to be honest, have been massively overshadowed by all of the takeover rumours. We do know that Perez, um, pretty much, with it, not in so many words, said he wanted to go uh, this summer. And he has been linked with clubs, I read today that he's been linked with Arsenal, Fif 10 to 15 million for Perez. You know what it is? You know, if someone had put that offer in in the January when he hadn't really didn't have a good, a good start of the season, I'd probably be ripping their arm off. But having said that, the way he performed at the end of this season, getting top goal scorer for us, um, 10 to 15 million, it goes back to what we say every summer, and is that if we do go and sell Perez, are we legitimately going to bring someone in? Because that's what we've got to look at. If we sold him for 15 million, can we bring in someone better for 15 million? I don't know. I don't think you... I, I, it's, it, it'll be tough to do that. And I know Perez has his ups and downs, um, but he was definitely on and up at the end of last season. So... I don't know, I'm torn on that one. Let me know what you think of that down below as well. There's also a bit of news that we've been linked with a youngster from Chelsea called Kyle Scott, who, to be honest, I've not seen a lot of, but it's good to hear that the scouts are out there and we're looking at players. But again, in the same with Perez, it all comes back to the fact that Benitez, I believe, has final say on transfers. And Benitez hasn't signed a new contract. So basically, up until the 30th of June... Our transfers, in or out, is likely to be nothing. Unless Benitez did sign a new contract tomorrow, which I can't see happening. So, that's going to be very quiet um, until something gets sorted with Rafa and then he can start deciding what he wants to do. But then it goes back to everything I said at the start of the video, which is Rafa, I don't think he's going to sign anything until more clarification comes out about the takeover. Final mention, the pre-season fixtures were released. Um, we play, or we are playing in the Asia Trophy. We play against uh, Wolves on the 17th of July. Then we play against Man City or West Ham on the 20th of July. Then we go away to Hibs on the 30th of July. So that's not too far drive 
up the road if anyone wants to go and see it in a way uh, pre-season friendly and then we've got the standard um, pre-season friendly at St James's Park on the 3rd of August so again you know it's the, the time frame is short Rafa's contract potentially ending on the 30th of June and then our first pre-season 17 days later to hopefully have a new owner hopefully get Rafa signed up but worst case scenario we're looking to bring in a, another manager or have someone step in to his interim until the takeover gets sorted or whatever so if you want to look at the positives, and I'm trying to, uh, we could be on for a really good thing here if this takeover goes through, which I think everyone is desperate for. The, the downside, and I think as the time goes on, since that initial release of the potential takeover where everyone was buzzing, as I say, I do feel I have dropped down to earth quite significantly as the days are going by and by without any official confirmation. You, never, you know what? It is with my look. By the time this video goes up, we've probably had official confirmation. So finger cross, fingers crossed, that is true. But um, let me know down below any news that I may have not mentioned in this video and also let me know what your thoughts are on this takeover do you think it's legit is it gonna happen i think it's legit it's just whether it's gonna happen or not and is it gonna happen in time to bring rafa benitez on a new contract as well but yeah this will be back every tuesday so make sure to look out for it hopefully we've got some good takeover news uh for next tuesday all right thank you for watching as always hope you guys enjoy the new series and i'll catch you later